what are some things that you can do to ignite attraction in him? It's easy to think that attraction just happens, that chemistry just ignites on its own, but believe it or not, as human beings, there's a skill set to dating. There's a skill set to helping ignite the attraction. Just like someone can start a fire and with the right skill set, they can start that fire way faster. Yes, lightning can strike, the fire can start on its own, but if you know how to start the fire, you can start way more fires and way larger fires with the person that you want to date. And today, I'm gonna share with you five secret ways to ignite his attraction. And guess what? Almost no one knows the last one. Check it out. Hey there, my name is Matt Boggs and I'm the founder of the Love and Relationships Division here at the Brave Thinking Institute, where our mission is to empower people to create and live a life they love. And that includes your love life. So if you like this video, I encourage you to click that subscribe button and click that little bell because every week we bring you videos to empower you in your love life. And today we're talking about how to ignite attraction and specifically five secrets that you can use. And I call these secrets because they're not entirely intuitive. So unless someone shares them with you, unless you've already learned these, then they're going to be unknown to you. They're going to be somewhat of a secret. And so secret number one is to show interest. And that's fascinating, isn't it? Because so many of us has been conditioned to play hard to get. So many women have been conditioned to say, don't show interest because you're going to then kill the interest that he has for you. And it's actually the opposite being true. Did you know that 5% of men do 95% of the approaching? 5% of men are, are the ones out there approaching all the women, doing 95% of the approaching, which means the vast majority of guys, 95% of guys are the ones who are a bit more shy. They're the ones who are not doing the approaching. They're the ones who need the big green light from you to come up and talk to you. They're the ones that need a little bit extra encouragement to know that they're doing a good job and you like what they're talking about or you like the way that they're showing up. So know this, attraction is like a spark and the spark that catches fire and it needs the spark on both ends. So it can't just be him giving you the spark. It needs to be you acknowledging that you've got some spark for him as well. And so showing him interest enough to let him know, yeah, ask her out or ask, out, ask her out on a second date is essential. And so here's an easy way to do that is compliment him. Compliment him and challenge him at the same time. And I'll share with you exactly what you can say. So compliment him on his clothes, say, wow, that shirt is really becoming on you, or that shirt looks really sexy on you, or wow, I really like that outfit, like, you're looking good. Something that shows, hmm, you're attracted to this guy, or you like this guy. And somewhere on the date, let him know that it takes a really special guy to win your heart. In other words, you're not willing to just become exclusive with him, he's got some work to do. You gotta get to know this guy. He's gotta earn the right to be your man. That combination of you complimenting him, showing interest, but challenging him by letting him know takes a special guy to win your heart. That is a beautiful contrast that creates attraction. The second way to ignite attraction in him is eye contact and a smile. Now, before you roll your eyes on this one, because I know many dating coaches say this, but why do they say this? Why do we bring this up? Because it is often the most overlooked, underutilized, and proven way. When I say proven, researchers have actually proven this. When you gaze into someone's eyes and you hold that eye contact with them, it actually conjures up biochemistry, oxytocin gets released, our love chemicals get released. In fact, science has proven this, that when you hold gaze with somebody, you gaze in their eyes, that it releases biochemistry. Oxytocin is released, love hormones are released, and it actually helps you fall in love with that other person when you gaze in their eyes. And yet, it's awkward. It's uncomfortable to do that. It's, it's like, well, I don't wanna do that, which is why so many people don't do it. So my encouragement to you on this one is exaggerate it. Because men, our ability to read social cues is a fraction of what a woman's ability to read social cues is. Now I know that's a big, vast generalization, but I'm saying it to support you. Because often what'll happen is a woman's like, I gave him an obvious sign. I looked at him, I smiled at him, 
And the guy on the other end was like, oh, she didn't look at me. I thought she was looking at somebody else. Like he's not getting your cues. He's not getting it. So dial it up. Imagine this, imagine you are teaching a four-year-old to read. When you say, how long should I gaze at him? How long should I look at him and smile at him? Imagine you're teaching a four-year-old to read and you're sounding out every word and you're like, and so you're looking at him and you're smiling and you're thinking, I am interested in you. <laughs> and to the point where it's obvious, where he can't mistake it, he can't deny it, you are interested in him, that eye contact, that engage will go a long way for igniting attraction. The third secret for igniting attraction is a bit counterintuitive. Now, the third secret is confidence, but what's counterintuitive is what people interpret as confidence. The number one thing people interpret confidence as is authenticity. When you're being yourself, when you're just being you, that actually comes across as confidence. Confidence is not the facade of I've got it all together and everything's always perfect and this is amazing. No, 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 that's not confidence. Confidence is you just being you, right? And so being cool is exhausting. It's exhausting to try to put on that front, but it's exhausting to be around people who are cool all the time. You know what men want in a relationship? Men want a best friend that they're sexually attracted to, that they have a passionate relationship with. Like they're their best friend they can share anything with, they can go have activ do activities, fun things with, that they're super sexually attracted to. Right? That's like the best of both worlds. That's what they want for lifelong partners. And so your confidence can be demonstrated by you just being authentic and being the quirky you that you are. We all have quirks, right? We all have that quirky side. So how can you show that? How can you shine that, right? How can you get your quirk on? Get that quirk on, don't get the twerk on, get the quirk on, <laughs> right? So what does that look like for you? How can you bring that forward in a more authentic way? There is a woman that I coached who probably had the quirkiest first date I have ever heard. But she was a quirky gal. She was a filmmaker. She was a super creative. And so she ended up going out with this guy. She wasn't herself. She was trying to be cool, trying to get him to like her. It didn't work out, obviously. And so in that broke breakup, her heart was broken. She decided to make a movie to help heal her heart. She made a movie about a little ant that got his little ant heart broken and then needed to go heal the ant. She dressed up in an ant costume, made this movie. Then in her dating profile, put the picture up of her in the ant costume. <laughs> Talk about quirky. You're like, okay, we'll see how this goes. This is you like shine it, get your quirk on. And so guy reached out to her. He's like, I think this is the coolest online profile I've ever read in my life. You made that movie. I want to see it. She's like, you want to see it? He's like, yeah, she sent him the movie. This guy is also a filmmaker. They totally hit it off. Their first date, I'm not making this up, the first date, they both dressed up in costumes and went and hung out and laughed and had a ball and, and it just had a total blast of a time. These are two amazing human beings. They connected, they fell in love, they got married, all because she was willing to work the quirk, baby. Get your quirk on. And the fourth secret is be willing to receive help. And I know for some of you, this is natural. You naturally receive help. You love receiving help. For others of you, you're more interested in proving your worth, proving your value, proving that you're capable than you are in receiving help. And so it's an interesting dynamic because your man actually wants to serve you. Your man wants to be needed. Your man wants to help you. And that desire to want to help you doesn't stem from him thinking you're not capable or not valuable or not worthy or not able. It just comes from his own natural masculine energy. I remember dating this one girl and uh, I picked her up to take her to the airport. She wanted to ride to the airport. I went up to her apartment and she had her suitcases there and she did one final check and I was like, all right, well, let's go downstairs. And so you want me to help you with these suitcases? She's like, no, 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 I got it. And she kind of moved me out of the way. Boom, 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 grab both suitcases and walk down the hallway. And I'm walking behind her empty handed. And she's like kind of boom, 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 down the hallway in these suitcases. And I remember thinking, man, why, why won't she let me help her? And she was very much in her masculine energy. And it was just deflating the attraction in the relationship. 
Remember, your man wants to serve you. And so create space. Look for those opportunities for how your man can serve you because you know that by creating that space, it actually ignites the attraction between you. And here's number five, the fifth secret for igniting attraction. And guess what? Almost nobody knows this one, even though it's right in our face. And it's lead with an open heart. And before you jump to the idea that, well, Matt, I have an open heart and I'm this and this and that. Let me tell you, after coaching women for over a decade, one of the most common things that I see is women consciously have an open heart, but subconsciously they, they've got a shield because they've been hurt in the past and they don't want to experience that pain again. And so they're walking around, they're dating, but they're dating with this protective shield up saying, you know what, I'm gonna date, but I'm not really gonna open my heart until I know I'm safe. And the challenge is love doesn't work that way because if you've got a shield up, then he can't really connect with you. And often what happens is that you attract men who like you, but you're kind of eh, about them, or you attract men that you really like, but those men are unavailable. They don't want a relationship. And so your result is that you never really have to open your heart. You never really have to get vulnerable or let a man in. And this can be a challenging thing when you want to open your heart, but you're scared to do that. And so I actually created an entire course called Break Free, how to eliminate the hidden love blocks. Because oftentimes we don't even know that our heart is, is closed or that we've got this shield up until we really dig down deep and find the places in us that are resistant to really being in the relationship that we want. So if you're interested in finding out if you've got love blocks or, and if you do how to clear those out, I'm gonna put a link in the comments or the description below, click that link. It'll take you to a program called Break Free. You can explore that program. You are gonna love it. And let me tell you, when you do eliminate those love blocks, when you do really open your heart, you feel like you've broken free because all kinds of amazing things open up in your life. Men that you had no clue about end up entering in your life. A whole deeper level of connection happens. And so check in, what is your degree of openness in your heart? If you want to ignite attraction, the more open your heart is with your man, the more attraction he's able to both feel and also give back to you. So there you have it. Five secrets for how to ignite attraction with your man. My question for you is, what have you found really ignites attraction when you're on a date or in a relationship? Go ahead and post those comments in the comment section below. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.